All right, there was no way I was going to have a brand new airbrush. I couldn't use it because I didn't have an infrastructure for it. Well, here goes the infrastructure. Real simple. I bought a bathroom exhaust fan from Home Depot for like 20 bucks. And I had some leftover cardboard from a delivery I had. So here we go. A top piece, a bottom piece, two sides, and a back. Held together with duct tape. Oh yeah, this is real simple. Simple and plain. All right, the bathroom exhaust fan came with a template that made it perfect for cutting a piece out for it. And I got some simple caulking to make sure I don't lose any fumes. And here goes my electrical work. Now, I'm not an electrician, so I won't try any of this at home. And I'm going to simply line it up the colors. Green, black, and white. Using my electrical tape. Tape everything up when I'm done. Let's see does it work. Oh yeah, I still got it. And this is just simple primer, white primer, after the caulking got dry. Got my filter. All right, here's the whole setup. Got my duct work we're in. Duct tape again. Got a clamp behind the duct work. Got exhausting out through the window. Got my cardboard out. Got the compressor on the floor. I ain't know she photobombed me until I was editing this. Cool. I'm starting out with a clear coat, actually. Duplicolor 1K clear. Automotive paint. And I'm cutting it with about 30% lacquer thinner. This is my test piece. All right, here goes the first test. First test using the cheap air gun. First thing I know is you got to really get up on it. But once I got used to it, I got some pretty good results with it. I tell you what, with results like this, there's no looking back. I'm definitely going to be using the airbrush.